Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, it's Tisha. In today's video, as you can see by the thumbnail, is not one that we typically do here. Um, but on Black Friday, I did end up going to multiple stores for multiple things. No, in this video, there's no super cool Black Friday finds. Um, I already shared with you my Black Friday haul from Bath & Body Works, which I actually went in the store earlier than Friday to do. But um, my cousin had a baby and I have yet to send her a baby gift. She lives in California. So I've been putting that together. Um, also, we needed groceries and I guess I just timed it really bad. I went in the later afternoon. Um, right now it's still Black Friday. They had run out to grab something to eat so I can share a few of these things with you. Cause I ended up finding a bunch of stuff for Aiden, some really fun finds um, for just the month of December some fun things for us to do and then some stocking things. I'm not really gonna do like a, what I got my son for Christmas video because again, that's not the audience I have here and that's totally fine. But if you have little ones in your life or just other gifting things happening this month, I thought I'd share some of this stuff with you really quick just cause it's fun stuff I found out and about. A lot of the stores we look at for like fun hygiene stuff as well. So, and then also Aaron's birthday is on Saturday, December 3rd. So I was preparing for that because I do like to keep it separate from Christmas. So I just had a whole bunch of fun stuff I found really, really cheap. Again, nothing super exciting whatsoever, but um, I just want to jump in and share some of those things to do. So when we got home with all these different places, we went to like, I went to like Family Dollar just to grab some cards. That's like the only thing we have in our little town here. We live in a really, really small town. Um, we went to like Aldi's and Sam's Club and Kohl's to, um, I just grabbed some towels there, but, um, I actually ordered some more, so there'll be some more on the way. Um, and then Big Lots too, just to find some random Christmas decorations. So I actually think I left a few bags in the garage, so I might have to like pause and come back. But I wanted to show you guys some of the really fun things I found on Amazon. So I told you, I'll stop rambling and jump in. If you're new here, I ramble mostly about Bath & Body Works, but today it's just about fun finds on Black Friday. But I do, for my son, typically the something you want, something you need, something to wear, something to read. And I don't normally just get one thing in each of those categories, but I try to stick to those and not go too crazy. Because again, with him being my only, I start shopping early because he starts kind of throwing out hints for birthday. And then I kind of split them up between birthday and Christmas. So, and his birthday is in October. So again... I end up shopping really early. I'm almost done with him, but I found a few things I just thought would be really fun add-in. So I did buy him a book set that he wanted for his what to read, but I found these two things on Amazon. I thought they were really cute. And again, he's in fifth grade, so I don't know how much he'll get to appreciate this, but I found this book. It's called What I Love About Being Your Mom. And it's this whole little book of little things I write about that I love about him. And I just thought that'd be such a cute little stocking thing and just something he might keep. Um, like it makes me happy when you're, and I just fill in something personal. Being your mom makes me feel really, you know, um, I know you're going to be a great blank, just something like really personal. And it was super cheap. I want to say this was like $5.99 on there or something. Um, so I just thought it was really, really cute. And it came today and I, it was, I was more impressed with it than I thought it was going to be. It's going to be so fun when we blank your next blank. I just, every page and there's like 50 different ones. So I'm going to fill this out and wrap up and put it in his stocking. So I just thought that was really cute. Something I found on Amazon. They have so many different varieties. You could do it for any, so any relationship in your life, family, friend, you know, cousin, sister. It's pretty cool. So I thought those books were neat and kind of a personal gift to give. And I didn't want to talk about that when he was home. And then I also got this, and this is kind of where I'm going to and his gifting, I'm gonna fill out a few pages, but it's like a bucket list. So I, at first they're gonna be really simple, things he said he's wanted to do, that he's wanted to do since we've been kind of closed off from the world. So I thought I would stick some things in here. Like he said he wanted to go to the trampoline park and he wants to go to the movies and we haven't done any of those things in so many, and that used to be stuff that we did regularly, him and I, we just go on like a date every couple of weeks. Like, you know, just show him like how to, um, you know, how to do it but you know where I would pay and stuff but we would go out for dinner and just use our manners and go out to you know I've, I've told y'all about this stuff so I just had this book and this was really cheap too like a few dollars four four or five dollars but um you can put down like what you're going to do 
and then like what you know like how like when you want to do it by and it's just kind of like I thought would be really cute and then at the bottom it says how was your experience so you go back and talk about it and I just thought that would be kind of fun and then as he grows up if we continue it he can do like some, a trip or something you know something more substantial than just like around town but with the way that things were going out to do those simple things are going to be fun so I thought that I would start that off with just some tickets to some things a few things in here um I know he wants to go to his first concert he's 11 so I'll take him and I'll I'm going to find something and stick in here and then this will be something we can do back and forth for different events I just thought that was super cool so I don't know if that's nerdy but you know I always look for something different to give to him because so it's not just all stuff um, and then this came with it, and I just have to share this with you. I'm not going to share the baby gift. It's not arrived yet. Um, she's actually been here for a few months, friends, but I, sometimes this is what happens. Like, I overthink a gift. Um, they don't really want for much, um, you know, so it's kind of one of those things where I could have just sent a gift card, but I love sending a gift, and gift cards sometimes, um, they're easier, but I don't, okay, this is really struggling. Um, they're not always just like, I don't know, I, I like to think about what to get or look, you know, I just like shopping. That's not why this box is impossible to open. I'm going to need to put it in something else. Oh my goodness. Struggle. Okay. Got it. So I thought this would be really fun. Again, they're first time parents. They're, you know, in their thirties, they've lived such a fun life. So they're both very new to this. So this is a new parent decision coin and it says flip for your fate, mommy's turn and daddy's turn. So I just want to show you guys, isn't that cute? Mommy's turn and daddy's turn. So I also got like a really cute handmade ornament and like an outfit or two. And I'm going to put it all together. But I actually went out for a card because I, the outfit was supposed to be delivered today. So I thought I was going to have all the pieces. But it didn't get delivered today. But this did. So I'm, you know, got the card now. But that was truly like we were going to stay home. But we were looking around looking like we needed like coffee and ketchup and peanut butter. Like we were like down to nothing. So we went to all these places. It was a crazy day, but a fun day. And now I'm going to jump into those other goodies. So we went to Big Lots um, just because I was like, I went there for Halloween and they had some really fun stuff. So I was like, we're going to start, you know, doing more decorating this weekend. So Aiden found this and he wanted it. It's $5.99, but I got like a coupon or percent off today. This is an Oreo mini holiday house. And honestly, we stink around here at gingerbread houses. So I was like, yeah, grab this little mini guy. That will be all you. So that's for him. And then, so I want to show these together. So I'll show you these two um, together. So first off at Big Lots, I found Aiden. He always does an advent calendar. It's something he loves to do, like to count down to Christmas. So we'll start this on December 1st. And this is the child. He picked it out out of, they had a ton of them there. And they were really cheap. I want to say this was like $2.99. And they're little Star Wars um, themed chocolates. So he was excited about that. But then he likes to be fair. He gets that from me. When we were at Sam's Club, because I don't need an advent calendar, but we found one for Maverick. So we got this. This his this was like five times more than his, but that's fine. Advent calendar for dogs. And we actually got this one for him last year. And he really likes it. It's got like chicken and duck and ham, like duck burgers and chicken fillets and turkey burgers and at the end he gets a bully stick so this will be for Maverick and this will be for Aiden for the advent I know I'm going really slow here I have a lot of stuff too okay so then hold on all right switch some stuff around so then one of Aaron's favorite treats and I thought I'd make them for his birthday which is next Saturday so not Christmas are like pretzels dipped in chocolate or you know crushed candy canes all this stuff so I thought I would do a different spin um, and I grabbed these at Aldi's, they're pretzel rings. And I just thought I would dip them in chocolate and then put, so I grabbed two different kinds. And I just thought I would share this with you guys in case you're thinking of making something super easy. Like milk chocolate and these are sugar cookie. Like, so you can just stick them right on the inside on the parchment paper. And then I grabbed some just plain M&Ms to stick in. I'll put like a picture here of what it will look like at the end, but I thought I'd make that for him for next weekend because it's his birthday and he loves those. That's like always the only thing he ever asked me to make every year for Christmas because he knows I can't do anything else. And then, so of course I got at the Big Lots or whatever dollar, we went to like five different places, birthday cards, baby cards. That's those. I'm not going to share those with you. And then I, again, being a nerd that I am, I found this book I really got for myself. Who gives for themselves a Christmas? This girl. 
they say I'm a dreamer and it's like, so I used to do this every day and I got away from it. I was doing the 75 hard program. So every day I would get up and journal. And this is just a, you pick the day and you write something down. So I would do a three, two, one, like three things I am grateful for, um, two things I could do better tomorrow. And then one thing I really like about myself. And it's just like one of those things where you write that and you write it and you read it and you do the steps and you start to see this like strength in you. So I'm going to do that again, probably not starting till the new year, but I just grabbed that book. It was like three bucks at the family dollar, big lots dollar tree. I threw it all into different bags because it all fell out in the car. This was definitely at the dollar tree because I remember these. Um, these were like those Halloween ones I grabbed. They're little strings of light. So if I get to it by the end of this video, which is going to be long enough, I'm going to show you just like briefly me setting up all these little Christmas things. But there's some trees and some gnomes and I just got like two sets of each. So I got four strands of that. And then I found this and this was at the family dollar, but it's a table runner and it's got like little snowflakes. And I do a lot with red and black in this buffalo plaid. So I thought that was actually quite nice and I don't have one. So just a table runner. And then I got a matching buffalo plaid tablecloth for my table just to like, you know, keep it in the theme. So I thought those were really nice. And then we'll go to Kohl's. I just grabbed a few um, towels at Kohl's and I actually ordered more. So they're on their way. But um, these were just, I just got these like a red and a green. I don't know if they're showing on camera just to put in the bathrooms for Christmas because I tell you when I buy those cute ones from Target with the sayings we never use them and then I've caught both boys lately putting dish towels from the kitchen in the bathrooms so we're running low on hand towels so I just grabbed like a red and a green one which don't match anything but the ones in the mail match everything else and then I just came across these and I grabbed two more of the big one or yeah I think they're called the big one towel but these were like a dollar something today and then these were like two something today. So I love these towels. They last forever. I mean, the sets, I have some still from like before we moved. And it's kind of crazy to me that we run out of anything. Because when we moved together, we had like hundreds of things as you're like mixing everything together. But yeah, these are regularly $6.99. I got them for like $2 and some change today. So that's that. And then I have a few more little treats and then I'll... I'll wrap this up, but I found this at um, Sam's Club. I thought it was a really good deal. I, this makes me feel old that I was excited about this, but this was $19.99 and on sale today for $9.99. But I want to start taking my lunch more to work. I usually do, but I've been bad lately, so I needed some more of these types of things. But 50 pieces for $10, like I feel like a grandma. But I'm going to pause one more time and I'll show you the rest of my life. Okay, I know this video is like a hot mess, but it's still fun. So of course I grabbed tape because, you know, Christmas. And then I ate and found these, and I know these are at the family dollar. They're like little gingerbread cookies. And he's always like, cause mom, we don't make good ones. And I'm like, oh, well there's that. And then of course I picked up, I know this is like sugar over some sugar cookie ones, but we're gonna just go slow. I mean, this is a lot of treats, but we'll go slow. It's gonna last all month. And then, I always let him pick out the candy canes we're gonna put on the tree even if they don't match. And he's been on like an airhead kick lately. So he picked out airhead ones. And then I, because again, we didn't have enough candy, grabbed a bunch of these mini ones. He likes to eat them. So I let him, I offer him one of these and then he leaves the ones on the tree till like the end of Because once it's decorated, you can't touch it, right? And then I found two more really fun things. So I don't know if you guys have tried it yet, but one of the brands of uh, candy has come out with like a Fruity Pebbles candy bar and it's amazing. I just randomly came across this at the Family Dollar um, and it was a Fruity Pebbles little snowman. So I'm gonna stick that in Aiden's stocking and I'm gonna make him give me a bite. And then this is gonna make him so mad again at the Family Dollar. So if you have one of those, but it's like, so it's called the Naughty or Nice Candy Cane Game. And they're candy canes flavored like, look at this, it's like being boozled. And he walked by it and didn't see that I had thrown one in the cart. Um, and he goes, that's awful because it's banana or garlic, cherry or onion flavored, blue raspberry or dirty socks. Um, and there's some other ones, but I'm going to play it with him if you will. But I just thought it was so funny. So you get like these little mini candy cane pieces and they're either, they're like too yellow and they're either garlic or banana. And I just thought it was a fun little game. I'm going to stick in a stocking, but isn't that hilarious? <laughs> I'm mean. I know. I, you guys think I'm so nice. I'm not. I am like the meanest mom ever. 
So since I was there and just, you know, buying all the things for a dollar, I decided I like to put together things for coworkers. Um, so I found these really cute boxes of just like some chocolates that are Elmer brand, but they're really pretty. And so I grabbed like seven because I have seven different people in my office and I always throw in some kind of Bath and Body Works thing, but you know, I just thought those were pretty cute and perfect for a dollar. And the candy on the back looked good. It was caramel, a strawberry, an orange, and a truffle. So nothing like too funky. And then these were, I think I should mention them in another video. These are hot cocoa bombs. They're chocolate hollow filled with mini marshmallows. And I just got one for each of us for like Christmas Eve. I always do like, well, I don't do matching pajamas, but like if we need something like that for like cute photos the next day, like I'll just get us each pajamas. We've never matched ever. But like we'll get pajama pants or a shirt or something or like slippers and a movie and then like some kind of treat. So I'm going to stick this away for that. And this was a dollar at the dollar store. So I thought that was pretty good. So I got three of those and I had to look because a lot of them were broken. But um, yeah, that's like I said, I do like a little Christmas Eve box, but not like gifts. We just do something together. And then Aiden found these and I said, sure. Um, they are sad looking um, little lollipops, but again, Christmas. So you just say, sure, put it in the cart, buddy. And then this is a few more little finds. Like I said, I had a bunch of these, but they were super cute. Like that one says, have a jolly, holly jolly Christmas. And so it just kind of starts me on the right track of buying something to put into those. Little, I usually do like a little gift bag with something else. More tape. Didn't need to show you that. These are just the same little things. Um, Aiden also kind of said something about, oh, did you see those nerds? So I just threw them in the basket for his stocking. I don't give him a ton of candy, but like on holidays, he gets whatever he wants. Um, this is Pop Rocks Popping Candy, candy Cane Flavored. And I just thought that'd be fun to stick in his stocking. He's actually like better than me. Like when we go like Halloween, like I'm in his candy bucket more than him. He'll start to say like, where's my candy? I'm like, oh, I have no self-control. This was another thing I'm just gonna stick out. I think it'd be really fun. You just, it says warm milk, mix in coffee and enjoy. So you don't have to drink it with coffee, but like I can heat up some milk or even like hot cocoa, but they're little like chocolate stir spoons. Dollar Tree y'all, like I thought that was super cute. And there's five in there. So again, those are nice size. I just thought that was like a fun thing. I mean, we when he was little, I used to do like a, a thing calendar for us, but um, I've actually received a couple Christmas cards. So my PO box is listed down below. Please don't ever think you have to send me one, but if you're a Christmas card person, I grabbed a couple different packs just to be able to send them out. A lot of people don't do it anymore, but if someone sends me one, I always send one back. That's my rule. Um, and then I think that's pretty much it. I got like the card for the baby. And this was the last like super cute thing in here. The rest of this is just kind of like some stuff from the dollar store, like sponges for my sink. I didn't want to show you like my actual groceries, but these are so cute and they are from the Dollar Tree. They're Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and it's Palmer chocolate, milk chocolate, and then this is white. But like the snowman and Rudolph from the movie, I again, I already got that uh, Blintstone one, but maybe I'll let that one and give one of these to Aiden, but just stocking type of things. But lots of really cute stuff and affordable at the dollar store. And I think the last thing, which is like my most exciting find of the day, so shout out to Aldi. I just ran in there for some actual food, like for the week. But look at you guys. Okay, so something to know about me. I love gnomes. Um, hence, do you remember in my Black Friday haul, I had the little gnome wall plug. That that sparked a whole buy three, get three. But I came across this popcorn tin, and I'm not gifting this. I told Aaron I might when we bought it. But I'm emptying this and keeping it. It's going to have something Christmassy inside of it. I don't know, like maybe this will be what I put my wildflower plugs in at the end of the season, but it's just so cute. So this was like $4.97, caramel corn, butter popcorn, and white cheddar popcorn. So super cute tin, and I just thought that was super cute and I found it. So I think that's everything I wanna share in this video. If I find anything else, I'll just do a separate video. And then um, if I did get to it by the end of this video, I will insert here some footage of like me setting up the Christmas stuff. If not, I'll share that in another video, but that's it. That's all. I just wanted to share these little fun finds I found today. The craziest day of the year to go shopping. I went out looking for Dollar Tree stuff and I found it, but 
thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know down below if you go to these stores and find these fun things. I actually love doing Dollar Tree hauls. Honestly, they're like addicting to me, but now I'm going to put all this away so Aiden doesn't see it so that some of it can be a surprise. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in a video tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.